record. I'll just press record now. So there we are. I think that's all I have to do. Okay. So I hope you guys are well um, and that your preparations for the Christmas season are going okay. Um, I know it can be a busy time of year for some people. So um, I hope that it's not getting too much for you. Maybe you're really looking forward to the holidays and uh, maybe having some time off work, perhaps. Um, so today I just thought I'd like to do a little meditation, just coming to the breath again, just practicing breathing properly. Um, I know that I've needed to do this. I needed to remind myself of this a few times throughout uh, throughout today for sure and throughout the last few days. So if you'd like to get yourself into a seated position and just sitting with a nice tall spine and then just relaxing the hands however you like on your legs in your lap whatever way feels comfortable for you and then if you're ready you can close down the eyes and just feeling your seat beneath you and feeling your sit bones rooting down to the seat And then as you root down, just feeling a gentle rise up through the spine all the way up to the crown of the head. Sometimes we say root down to rise. We say this in the yoga sometimes just to help you if we press into the floor, press into the base. It can help us come up a little taller. And just taking a moment here, just pausing, just feeling or just being aware of your body in this space. So just being aware of the volume of the body, the volume of the legs, your arms, your torso. And just now, just doing a gentle scan of the body. Just maybe from the tip of the head or the crown of the head down to the tip of the toes. Just noticing, are you holding on anywhere? Is there tension in the body? that maybe perhaps you can soften a little. And maybe softening again a little more. Releasing tension. Allowing it to dissolve. And now sensing your breath. Just being aware of the body breathing. Noticing the flow of the breath. Just taking your awareness to your belly. And sensing the breath here. So either seeing or feeling breath in your belly. And if this is difficult for you, maybe you could place a hand on the belly. So 
and just feeling the belly expand and contract. So you can feel it rising or getting bigger as you breathe in. And then releasing back as you breathe out. Just staying here with the focus on the belly for the next few moments. Keeping the body relaxed, the shoulders, the jaw. Just focusing on the movement of the belly. Keeping the tummy soft, and noticing the breath at the lower ribs, at the bottom above the rib cage, maybe even taking your hand there if you like. And just being aware of how this part of the body expands as you breathe in. And then contracts as you breathe out. Just allowing this part of the body to expand and contract with ease. Staying with your focus on the lower ribs. Now we'll take our awareness to the chest and the breath in the chest. So keeping the tummy soft, just allowing the breath to move up into the chest, feeling the chest expand as you breathe in. And feel it contract as you breathe out. Just a nice, soft, gentle flow. Keeping the rest of the body nice and soft and relaxed. Belly is soft. Chest is gently moving outwards and inwards with the flow of the breath. And now we'll bring them all together. So on your next breath, just feeling the tummy expand, the rib cage expand, the chest expand as you breathe in. And then feeling the breath leaving the chest, leaving the rib cage, leaving the tummy. Just breathing with ease.
gentle flow in, moving up through the torso, and the gentle flow down and out. Stay with this three phase breath for the next few moments. Breathing without strain. Keeping the body relaxed throughout. If your mind wanders, just pause. Without judgment, just return to taking your next breath, starting at the belly and moving up through the ribs, through the chest. And continue from there, exhaling from the chest the rib cage and the tummy. So after this next full breath, You can let go of the focus on the three phases of the breath. Just again, allowing the tummy, the belly to be soft. And just allowing yourself to breathe naturally. Keeping the body calm. Just noticing with this slowing down of the breath and with this breathing that we've just practiced, just notice how you feel. Just being aware of how you feel in your body and how you feel in your mind, in your thoughts. Bringing your awareness now to the feet, touching the floor. Maybe parts of the legs are touching the floor. Just feeling that grounding. And feeling the base of your spine, your sit bones, on the seat, on your cushion, whatever you're sitting on. Feel the shoulders relax, the jaw, and when you're ready, you can open your eyes, and we will move to our position for yoga nidra. One moment, I'm just going to Take a little drink. Okay, so just lying down, getting yourself all set up for yoga nidra lying in Shavasana. 
and just doing whatever you need to do to make yourself extremely comfortable. So your props, have them to hand, maybe a bolster or a pillow underneath the knees, behind the knees. Maybe something soft beneath the head. A light scarf over the eyes, if you like. Uh, maybe a blanket just loosely draped over the body, just ensuring that you don't get cold. I want to stay nice and warm for our yoga nidra practice. So just making the last few, any final adjustments you need to. Taking the feet, the legs, as wide as the hips. And the arms out from the side of the body. Palms of the hands turned up if you can. And allowing the body to feel open. And the chest, the heart is open. Just allowing the weight of your body to sink down into the earth beneath you. Just allowing the ground to take all the weight of your body. Let it support you. Now to help us arrive into stillness. We'll connect with the senses. So beginning with the sense of sound. And there's nothing you need to do here except just hear the sounds that are around you. Just hear them. Don't judge them. Just allowing them to come and go. Just notice sounds that are coming closer to you or that are more nearby. The sense of taste. So noticing if there's any particular taste in the mouth. The sense of smell. Noticing if there's any particular scent or smell in the air. A sense of touch, so feeling the back body on the floor, the back of the heels, the calf muscles, the back of the pelvis, parts of the back that are touching the floor. The shoulders, the arms, the backs of the hands, and the back of the skull, touching down to the ground. Sensing the air on the parts of your skin that are exposed.
and then feeling the clothing on your skin. The sense of sight. So behind the eyelids, seeing whatever you see. Maybe it's darkness. Maybe there's light, patterns of light perhaps. To help the body and the mind relax that little bit more, we begin to shape the breath by lengthening out the exhale on each breath. So, for the next few rounds of breath, just allowing the exhale to lengthen. Nice, long, slow exhale. And as you're exhaling, feeling the body relax even more. Feeling it soften even more. Letting go, releasing any holding, any tightness. And now we'll call to mind the Sankalpa. So maybe taking a moment to create your own Sankalpa, your own intention, resolve. So forming a statement in your mind that's in the present tense. And this statement is one where we're sowing the seeds for what we truly want in this life. So if you have one in your mind, repeating it now three times. And now we'll travel around the body, coming to our body scan. And here, just allowing your awareness to rest on the body parts that I mentioned. And just allowing, with that awareness, allowing the sensations of that body part to come to you but no need to grasp at it just staying nice and relaxed so taking your focus to the third eye the space between the eyebrows being aware of the sensations there
into the center of the throat. To the right shoulder joint. To the elbow. To the right wrist. Tip of the right thumb. The tip of the index finger. The tip of the middle finger. The tip of the ring finger. The tip of the baby finger. Taking your awareness to the right wrist, the right elbow joint, the right shoulder joint, to the center of the throat, to the left shoulder. to the left elbow, the left wrist, the tip of the left thumb, the tip of the index finger, the tip of the middle finger, tip of the ring finger, the tip of the baby finger, to the left wrist, the left elbow, the left shoulder, center of the throat, the center of the chest, the heart center, being aware of the sensations here, the center of the right side of the chest. The heart center. center at the left side of the chest, the heart center, center of the navel, center of the pelvis, right hip joint, The right knee, the right ankle, the tip of the right big toe, the tip of the second toe, the tip of the third toe, the tip of the fourth toe. tip of the fifth toe, resting your awareness on the right ankle, the right knee, the right hip, the center of the pelvis, The sensations in the left hip, the left knee, 
the left ankle. The tip of the left big toe. The tip of the second toe. The tip of the third toe. The tip of the fourth toe. The tip of the fifth toe. The left ankle. The left knee. The left hip. Rest your awareness on the center of the pelvis. The center of the navel. The center of the chest. The center of the throat. The third eye. Resting here. Effortless awareness. Feeling the breath in the body. aware of your body breathing. And we're going to count from 10 down to zero with the breath. So on your next breath, you count 10 as you inhale and 10 on the exhale. Your next breath is nine on the inhale. Nine on the exhale. And you continue on counting all the way to zero. Staying focused on the breath. And now letting go of the counting, letting go of the need to reach zero if you weren't at zero. 
just being aware of your body now in this space. In a sense of stillness. Resting here effortlessly. And just noticing if any parts of the body feel hot. Noticing if any parts of the body feel cold. And seeing, can you sense both the hot and the cold at the same time? Noticing if parts of the body feel heavy. And then noticing if any parts of the body feel light. I'm seeing maybe you can feel the heaviness and the lightness at the same time. Being aware of any parts of the body that feel uncomfortable or there's some discomfort. And noticing if there are parts in the body that feel comfortable. And now seeing, can you be aware of the discomfort and the comfort at the same time. Calling to mind a possible difficult emotion that you're experiencing. And just noticing perhaps where this might appear in the body, where you feel it in the body. And then calling or just being aware of an emotion that's not difficult. Maybe happiness or joy. And just feeling where you might see this in the body. Or feel it in the body. Now taking your awareness back to the third eye. Space in between the eyebrows. Seeing, can you turn your gaze inwards, delving within, 
delving deep within. Effortless awareness. The body resting here effortlessly. The mind resting effortlessly. Now allowing the breath to flow into the hands and into the feet. Begin to bring some small movements to the fingers, some small movements to the toes. Being gentle with your body here, but in your own time, bending your knees and rolling over onto the right side. Staying here for a moment or two. Support the head with the arm or a pillow.
resting here with ease for a moment or two more. And then if you'd like to sit up, now you can press your left hand into the floor and just to come up safely, bringing yourself up that way. And then maybe just staying with the eyes closed, take the hands together at the heart, the heart center, the thumbs pressing in. And just having gratitude, maybe in the heart, gratitude for, for this practice that can help us heal and help us relax and just access our true authentic selves. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. Thank you guys. Well done. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.